black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with a banger today. These Doritos nachos. I've seen these all over and I've always wanted to do them. So here they are in full form. Cannot wait to get into it. Starving right now. Have not had a piece of food today. So I'm looking to go hammer on these. Uh, also, I'm going to tell you a little story about actually the last time I've been to a strip club. 
and me just trying to play it up like I was really like a hotshot cool guy, but really inside I was kind of freaking out. Of course, you guys know I got the easy squeezes on deck, sour cream and taco sauce if need be, of course. And then I forgot to pop the top and hit, hit it with the Valentina. So we have to tap some of that on right now, of course. Mmm, those noises though, eh? What does that sound like? Huh? Okay. So these bad boys are loaded with beef and cheese and all the fixings. But let's get to her. VV excited for this. Where should I go? Where should I go? Eeny weeny miny mo. No, 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 no. Has to be a better first bite than that. Okay, cheers. The person that actually made me want to do these. I'm just gonna give a little shout out again. Or the video that made me crave this. I wanna do it once again. Was the main man Big Mac that I just found recently? Been loving his channel. Just a little guy right now, so if y'all feel like supporting, head over to his channel, Big Mac M A C K. But he just did a video like this and got me going. All right, so a few years back, uh, actually the same girl. The same Asian girl, server, bartender, that I went to the sex club story with. She brought me to the sex club. If you've never watched my I went to a sex club story time, I highly suggest you do. It's a cult classic. People love it. But so that same girl, you know, she had a little bit of freak in her. She liked to go do weird naked stuff. She liked strip clubs and nudity. And we were getting to be pretty good homies. We're hanging out a lot, drinking a lot, just being uh, degenerates together, essentially. So one night, she's like, do you want to go to the strip club after work? And I was like, for sure, let's do it, 100%, down. So there's a spot called the Brass Rail. where all the high-end honeys hang out. So we decided we were gonna hit the brass rail. So we're at work, and my boss, he was like notorious for hoarding and like holding onto your tips. As a server, you need your tips to like live because your paychecks ain't shit and they're every like two weeks, but this guy would like take forever to tip you out. So I had like two weeks of tips that was owed to me. And like I finally got them that night. It was like 1200 bucks. 
So this wad of cash. You know, 1200 bucks isn't that much money at all, but in 20s it looks like it. So I have like this wad of 20s, 1200 bucks. And we had the strip club. And so I roll in there, and you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like Drake. I'm feeling flexy, you know? Like, the girls are looking sexy. I'm feeling flexy. I'm like, let me flaunt this knot a bit. So me and her go in. Mind you, she's a pretty hot girl. This hot, like tatted up, kind of exotic, like Asian chick. So like, my value in there is already good. Like, I got a hot girl with me. So, you know, I'm feeling good. I got a hot girl with me. I got this band of money. You know, I'm feeling myself. So, I'm like, grab us a table. I like order us drinks and shit. And um, we're chilling, having drinks. And the girls, the strippers come around and they try to like persuade you into lap dances and stuff and try to like come take your money essentially. Which I never really usually partake in because. I view going to strip clubs as paying a bunch of money to get teas, which I'm not into. So, just behind us, there's like these students, this group of guys. You can tell they're like 20, they're brand new to the scene, you know. Green, very green, very amateur, just that they don't know the way of the, of the strip club and they probably don't have money to spend and they're just like very like timid and, you know. And uh, there's a super hot black chick, black stripper. She's got cake, like she's got, you know, she's thick. And she's like trying to like persuade those guys into spending money with her. And I'm observing it, it's really funny because they're all like, you can just tell they're like nervous. And uh, you know, just being kind of awkward and that's where this comes to bite me in the ass uh, about tripping these guys about being an experience. So I get all like in my like you know I'm in my myself and I'm like getting you know trying to be cool and shit. And I act all like super confident. I came up behind the black girl and well I mean I'm into some chocolate so I, like I wanted to. To partake in that, but also I'm just like, you know what? I got a band and shit. I'm with this girl, like, let me look cool in front of her. So I just go up and I grab like this black girl's, this black stripper's arm essentially, and I'm like, like, head, like, come with me, like, kind of thing, right? Like, trying to be a boss, right? Just being flossy. This is when I'm drunk too, right? Like, I'm just trying to act like extra. So, drunk confidence. So, like, I lead lead her, the stripper, into the back where they give the lappers, and uh, she starts in on me, but, you know, nothing was said, there was no like outline of like, you know, how much do you want to spend, or how long do you want to stay, or whatever. And in some strip clubs you can touch, and some you can't. In Canada you can. 
and uh, it's not certain ones, but this one you could, but I didn't know. Had I known, I would have. So she's like grinding up on me, doing her sexy stuff. And I'm like leaning back, trying to like play it like really cool, right? Like trying to be like, ah, it doesn't even matter. Like I'm trying to be super chill <laughs> with my thousand dollars. And uh, this is going on for a while. Eventually, it's like like six songs deep, and she's like, "You can you can touch, you know." And at this point, I'm like already in my head. I'm like, I'm like, this feels long. How much money is this gonna be? I really don't want to spend this much money. Like, I'm not that balling. I only got this G. Like, I need to live off this shit. Like, I can't be as irresponsible. I'm like, how does this money even work? Like. What am I being charged right now? Like, what's it gonna tally me? Is it a standard rate? Is it a flat fee? Is it a song rate? Like, I had no idea, right? Because I'm amateur at just strip clubs too, right? But I was trying to be cool. So, it's like, we're going deep, and then all of a sudden she's like, you can touch. And in my head, I'm just like, trying to like, be like, cool about it. And I was like, I know. I just don't need to, kind of thing, right? So, she's like, well, we're, we're at 120 right now. Do you want to keep going? And I was like, fucking 120? What? In my head, I'm just like tripping. And then I just decided, I'm like, I'm like, go a couple more songs and then we'll call it. So she goes a bit more. We, we like finish up. She goes like, that's 180. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> 108 bucks. Like, I could get some shit for 108 bucks. So, I pull out my wad, right? And I'm looking like all dope with my fucking thick 20 stack. And her eyes kind of like light up at my stack. And she's like, oh, like you're doing very well for yourself. And like being very intrigued now. Because now she wants to like obviously try to like rope me in for, you know, going to the back back room or some shit like that. And again, I'm just like, yeah, I do all right for myself. <laughs> and then I'm like 180, and then I'm like, here's 200. <laughs> so I broke her off with two bills. I walked away like all cool, like I'm good. I don't, I don't need any more from you. Like I don't want to go in the private room kind of thing, right? Like just trying to be more like cool guy <laughs> I get back to my Asian girlfriend and this is like 20 minutes and I'm just like I just fucking spent $200 and 20 minutes on some girl for nothing <laughs> and she just fucking like laughed at me so hard she's like you're an idiot why would you even do that like what are you trying to prove and I was like I have no idea I just saw those guys like struggling and <laughs> being awkward and I was like I just want to be a boss for one day of my life and I just in the moment I did it and I was feeling it, and now I really hate myself, I really regret it, and I wish I could have that two bills back. <laughs> but meanwhile, like, I'm trying to, like, play it, like, everybody thinking I'm, I'm the fucking man. And meanwhile, I'm just being such a bitch in my head. But, I mean, if you don't, don't have deep pockets, they're, they're not a good place for you. That being said, that one, the Brass Rail, the one that I went to, if you're ever uh, in the city of Toronto, it's... It's a good one. The the dimes work there. Like these girls definitely work out like twice a day. Very fit. Very, very hot. <sighs> All right. I'm full AF. These were delicious. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. But till the next one, you guys know what to do. You gotta eat good. You gotta live well. You gotta stay true.